Hey everyone, we're back with the Divine Feminine part of the video. I am splitting it up into, do, into two videos just so it's easily digestible. Um, I know that I tend to do longer videos on this channel, so I wanted to give you some quick hits as well. Um, and I was called to do a Divine Masculine and a Divine Feminine read, um, but kind of separately. So I am splitting it up into two videos. Now, I just want to point out, I just cleared um, the deck of the Divine Masculine reading, and I took a look at the bottom of the deck. So I hope Divine Masculines are watching this because we have the Emperor, which is incredible. Incredible. We had two kings. We had King of Swords and we had King of Pentacles in that reading. Um, and on the bottom of the deck is the Emperor. I wish I had looked at the bottom of the deck um, before doing this, um, but you know, everything in divine timing. Um, so that's incredible. The Divine Masculine is really embodying the King energy. And um, I'm hearing at times working to integrate the Emperor energy. So that's really incredible. Really proud of our Divine Masculines. They're doing the work. It's not easy work. You know, Feminines, you know this Ascension journey. This is not easy healing work that we're on, that we're doing. But both counterparts are doing are doing it. So as much love as we have for ourselves, um, have love and compassion um, for your divine counterpart as well. Be very proud for them as well because, you know, they're doing the work as well. Um, so amazing. That was amazing. Okay. So we're going to take a look at the past, present, and future energies for the Divine Feminine. I will link the Divine Masculine reading in the description box below. And we will be back with a full Divine Partnership reading uh, midweek, I believe. Um, I have some clients I have to catch up on. Um, so we'll be back midweek with the full Divine Partnership reading. But I was called to just do a check-in with the energies. It has been an intense weekend. Um... I, you know, I, I believe it's collective. I, I was feeling it. I was talking to a couple of friends, and they were feeling the intense energies. Um, some healing work being done, but it's not the intensity of the healing work. It's almost like that integration energy again. Um, just needing to rest, just needing to relax as the energy flows through us, and we integrate that energy. So it's not, it's not like there's a whole lot of conscious healing being done, but I feel like on a cellular level, light activations, um, heart expansions, things like that, that's that's the message that I've been getting, um, especially as we're resting and, and doing some self-care. Um, so I really appreciate um I really appreciate the collective, you know, giving a shout out, especially my, I want to give a shout out to um, my friends Molly and um, Karen, um, because they really helped me understand that it was not, it was not just me, it was not just me feeling it, it's really collective, so I want to thank them publicly. All right. Um, yeah, take a look at the Divine Masculine reading um, because we talked about the integration energies a little bit. Um, you're in a transition period where the old cycles are closing out and energy is fluid. So it's not like you just automatically begin a new cycle. Um, that energy is a little bit residual. Um, so we are in that transition period of old old endings to new beginnings. Um, the masculine are telling me are feeling it specifically. And we're feeling the effects of that energy. Um, we're closing out cycles as well, feminines, but the masculines are really doing the work of closing out the karmic cycles. Um, so give, I'm not going to go into that again, um, but, but give that masculine, uh, divine masculine video a listen. Um, if you want to learn more about that. Also take a listen to the overall energies um, of the full divine partnership reading. Um, I, I split those videos up into two as well. Um, just so that, you know, you guys, you know, can listen if it's resonating with you. You can listen to the full divine partnership video. Um, but the overall energies have some amazing messages in it already. And we talked a lot about integration and the transition of the energy there. So um, give that a listen to. We'll link that below. Okay. Whew. A lot of energy. A lot of energy happening. A lot of energy. Okay, so let's see what's going on specifically with the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine. Where is the Divine Feminine in the recent past? Where was the Divine Feminine in the recent? Oh my gosh. I'm going to give this another shuffle. Where was the Divine Feminine in the recent past, please? Divine Feminine in the recent past. Ten of Wands. And this came out in the intro where I was talking about the Divine Feminine. And I was going to make that a Divine Feminine video. It ended up being Divine Masculine. But this came out as a message for the Divine Feminines. 
this is a cycle that's closing. This Ten of Wands is a cycle that's closing. Divine Feminines are no longer carrying their burdens. Um, they are no longer not only carrying the burdens of this relationship, but they're no longer carrying the burdens within their life, within any other relationship in their life. Um, they are setting that down. It's almost like a... It's almost like a sense of detachment is what I'm getting. Um, detaching from problems. Um, it's a it's a higher level energy, which is interesting because I was um, it, it was like divine timing because I just talked to a girlfriend about this, um, had lunch with her. We, I was struggling with this myself, um, so I, this is resonating with you. Um, and then take the message if it's not, you know, feel free to disregard. Um, but I share my experiences because I believe that those experiences can help others. This is the energy that I I was resonating with this morning was. It's almost like there's a sense of detachment here. Like I'm looking at things from a higher perspective. Like I've set down the burdens of others. Um, like I'm not sitting in their pain anymore with them. I can feel empathy, but I'm not sitting in their pain. I'm not taking on their struggles. And I think for divine feminines, we really are in that nurturing place. We really have that nurturing, caring energy. But we can take that on so that it becomes a detriment to ourselves. And I think as we become that empress, as we rise in our vibrations, we realize that we, we can shed that. We no longer have to carry in order we no longer have to carry the burdens of others in order to be empathetic in order to be nurturing and what i'm getting from this is that this is the energy that we have left in the past this is the energy that we're healing from um that fix it energy that that feeling like I have to control everything, that I have to fix everything because that's not our job. Our job is to be equal to our masculines. Our job is to support them and be a lighthouse for them, to guide them home, but we cannot steer the ship for them. If they are the ships out to sea and we are the lighthouse and it's vice versa as well, and never forget that, it's vice versa as well. Our masculines are our, our angels, our, our lighthouses as well because we are equal. But... In a sense, we are also guiding them home at this stage of the partnership, guiding them through their healing as we continue to heal ourselves. Never forget that component either, but we cannot steer the ships for them. We have to allow them to do their own healing and trust that they are doing their healing and trust that the divine is guiding them as well, that everything is happening in divine timing. We have to let go of the control. We have to let go of the expectations for outcomes. We have to let go of what we are holding on to so tightly and a lot of what we're holding on to so tightly are these this control are these burdens that we have to guide this connection and we don't have to guide this connection you see the moonlight there they're saying that's the divine that is the divine guiding this connection the stars guiding them home the north star is the divine guiding them home so we can set down these burdens and that's where in the recent past i think a lot of the divine feminines were setting down the burdens of this connection of this relationship um, allowing yourself to, to be in a place of unconditional love without taking on the energy of the masculine, which is vitally, vitally important. All right, where's the divine feminine in the current energies, please? Just a clarifier. Yeah, in your current energies, you guys are waiting. Waiting with patience for your ships to come in, for your soulmate connection, for these two of cups to fill up because you're filling up your own cups and now you're waiting to fill up your cups together. And it's interesting, this is the present energy for you. In the near future energies, we got a similar message for the Divine Masculine with the two cups um, filling up to, it was a three of cups, but the symbolism in that card there, um, the message that I was getting from that was both having full cups, both counterparts having full cups, and pouring into the third pouring into an overflowing third cup. It was that trinity energy, that merging energy, that union energy. So this is where you are, Divine Feminines. You're, you're in a place of waiting, but not in a place of stagnation. That's not the energy that I'm getting. You've moved beyond that. Because you've, set, you've closed out that cycle for yourself, you've put those burdens of the relationship down, now you're just, um, you're just, you know things are moving, you know things are coming in, you know your ship is coming in, you know that the Divine, you're, you're being the lighthouse here. You're being the lighthouse, shedding your light for the ship of the masculine to come in, for them to steer their own ship 
to home. Um, and this is the home. This connection is home. This this love, this divine love, this pure love is home. And you're just waiting for it. And you're still moving forward with your life. You're still taking action for your life. You're still living your dreams. You're still manifesting. Um, so it's not a stagnant energy where you're home at night every night, like waiting for your divine masculine. This is you living your life while holding space in your heart, holding love in your heart, still shining your light for your divine masculine, knowing, having faith. It's a very adamant energy. It's like you have faith that your divine masculine will come to you. And and they are. And they are. Their ship is the ship is coming in because you're shining your light. Beautiful. And near future for the divine feminine. Near future. <laughs> I love it. Near future for the divine feminines. Uh, Knight of Swords, this is a very, the energy that I immediately got here was a very triumphant card. It's almost like a Six of Wands victory, but it's even more triumphant than the Six of Wands because he's a knight. It's almost like he's been to battle and he knows, he's been to battle and he knows that he's winning the war. He knows that he's already won the war. Um, that's it. You know, see how he's raising the sword? It's like, and the sword is gleaming. Like, this is the sword of truth. He knows this, the truth in his in his heart. He knows the truth in his mind. Like, he has complete faith in this. He knows that he's won this war, this battle. You know, it's just riding forward very quickly. It's happening very quickly, and you know it. You know that it's going to be picking up the pace. You know that these manifestations are coming in. You know that you're riding towards each other, and you're riding towards this. Ten of Cups. Happy home life, happy family, togetherness, this relationship, this foundation, every wish fulfilled, every wish. Now, this is not just for your connection, but this is for your own life as well. And as you manifest dreams for your own life, they're saying, you're manifesting dreams for your connection as well. Really beautiful energies, really beautiful energies, riding towards this, know it, riding towards this very quickly, um, knowing that the manifestations are coming in for your wishes to be fulfilled. You know it. You, you just... You know it. And what they're pointing me to is here is these cups, they're, they're kind of starting off small and they get to this really big cup here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and it's it's on the edge of a rainbow. This is wishes fulfilled. And it's it's almost like this is the journey, like having a little cup, having a little offering, um, getting a taste of it, and then it's building. Your love has built because you have this foundation. You have this new foundation of everything that you've been through individually and together with your divine master. And you have this foundation. And now what's to come is this big, big old cup of love. This big old cup of love together. Both of you having these big old cup, cups of love and now offering it to each other. You know that this is coming and that it's going to mean happiness and home life and wishes fulfilled and dreams coming true. This happily ever after. You know that this is what you're riding towards. You know that this is a feeling of triumph. And you know why it's triumphant because you're manifesting it and you're a master manifester And uh, you know that you can have this happily ever after and you not you know that this is what it's all been building towards This divine love this pure love this harmonious relationship this happily ever after Really really beautiful really beautiful. All right. We'll be back with a full divine partnership reading midweek um, Make sure you check out the divine masculine video as well to see where they are and um, Yeah, we'll be back soon. We'll also have a uh, pick a pile coming soon as well So uh, make sure you like and subscribe um, so you don't miss a beat with that Thank you guys so much for being here sending you so much love so much light and we'll be back soon